Alright everybody, welcome to my playlist about how to lobby PvP as you level up in the game or if you are like me and just like to PvP in general with this game. Um, in the background is just the video, I started a brand new assassin um, and that's, I picked that class because I don't, I, th I had a max level assassin, never really played them though, like barely at all. Um, and the other choice was a marauder, um, which... I was more more familiar with Marauder versus an Assassin, um, so really, in, and I haven't done a lot of stealth class um, play in um, for PvP. I th I had a, a one um, one operative, and so I wanted to try an Assassin, um, even though I know they're going to be nerfed by the time I hit max level and all that. So, um, but yeah, just to give you something to watch. So the purpose of this. This video is to kind of give you a rundown of what the, the playlist is going to be like. Um, you know, what my video the topics are going to be like. Um, this one's going to be a standalone video with, I'm going to probably group three PvP matches together. And I'm going to be leveling 90% through PvP. That's my goal. Um, and I know, so I've already got a bunch of the matches uh, recorded and everything. So I believe my first two... I forgot to turn my mic on so you don't get to actually hear me talk as I'm playing, which is unfortunate. So I'll be talking over myself. Um, but after that, I remembered and got it fixed because, yeah, I did those two matches just after I recorded all of this. So, um, just as a precursor, um, a little bit about me. Uh, I've been playing Star Wars since just before Patch 2.0 hit. You know, I started out as a... Uh, keyboard clicker you know as bad as they come really and uh and it took me it took a lot of guild mates as i kind of got better in the game to take me under their wing and tell me about key binding and and all and all that jazz and it got to the point where my first time i did solo queue ranked seriously was at the height of operative healers being overpowered as all get out um and my main at the time was a mercenary healer, and everybody thought they were just awful. Um, but I was able to hit gold uh, ELO rating on both my mercenary and my commando healer um, on the server I was on. Um, me and another guy, and this was back up season two or three, me and another guy held four of the top five spots for commando and mercenary on my server. Um, I think I was ranked 20, high 20s on my mercenary low 30s on my commando in the world for um for that season and for that class which isn't to say i was fantastic by any means um i was just there was a lot of unskilled people that had climbed superficially in my opinion just abusing this the power of the class um for that role and this is before sorks were even really thought of in heels um um, so, that being said, um, and then I played every role, um, season f five, four or five, I focused mostly on ranked fours, um, played power tech tank for the majority of it, yeah, I know that was during the triple PT comp, but we actually didn't run that, we ran, um, PT DPS, and then assassin DPS, and then, um, assassin or sorc, no, assassin or sorc DPS, and then we had a sorcerer healer. Um, so that was kind of, and then if we were messing around, we would do other things, um, obviously. Uh, so just, and then, um, some subjects I want to cover real quick, just before we hop in. Um, this is something I've seen a lot in my matches. I rem um, it just kind of boggles my mind. If you are, um, playing and you do want to actually give PVP a try, unless you're always going to be playing in a group. Do not, 100% do not pick a healer or tank. Those two specs require a lot of the perks and buffs you get as you level up to be viable. Um, especially tanks, like a lot of classes don't get their, cool, their defensive cooldowns. And so you essentially just uh, gimp your damage for marginal um, survivability. Um, and then healing, yeah, you don't have the, the abilities or the ener the like uh, energy management that you normally would have, so you kind of hurt yourself there. Versus with deep with damaging, you can 
as you as you'll see in later videos, you can get away with a lot more and still be useful. Um, so that being said, like I said, the the first two matches, I'm um, sorry ahead of time, but I'll be talking over them. I still have some things that I remember, and I'll be um, in points to bring up with those. Um, important things that you can keep in mind as you're playing in lobbies. Um, but yeah, that's really really all I got for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoy the playlist. Um, if there is anything in particular you want me to talk about, um, I can either add it after a match. Um, like I said, I think I have the first 10, 10 or 15 PvP matches on this character recorded already. Um, so I can add it to the end of a video um, if it's something specific you want me to, to address or go over. Or even if it's another class, like you want to talk to me about a certain class, just let me know. Um, I love PvP in this game. I think it's it's an undervalued um, aspect of this game that people get scared or they get discouraged just because competitive people tend to be not the nicest when you have a bad match. And even I have bad matches. Um, there's a couple... I know for sure there's, there's two losses, maybe three um, in my first ten. Um, and I'll be showing every single match, you know straight up 4v4 loss, or we won because it was a 3v4, or we lost because it was a 3v4 not in our favor, you know, all that kind of stuff, so, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it, um, and like I said, anything in particular, any specific questions, you can either address them in the comments, or, um, yeah, just throw them in the comments, and, and I'll address them, I might just do a preamble to, to a video, um, and answer them, but yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the playlist, and, and I hope you learn, learn a lot.